So good morning grade 11 students and this uh, video we're going to talk about the worksheet for the genetics. So this worksheet is very important regarding for the quiz with the next week. So let's start step by step together. So there's Avila, they are some of the most commonly used animals in the genetic labs. Many reasons they lie behind that. One of these reasons due to their short time, it requires a couple of Drosophila to give 100 of Drosophila. So the Drosophilas, they have a, they need a short time in order to reproduce and to give birth to Drosophilas. So they need short time. That's why they are used in the genetic labs. Uh, then other reasons might be the small size of these insects that may be easily reserved in labs. So we have two main reasons. One of these reasons, which is number one, which is it requires short time to reproduce. And the second reason is their small size so that it can be easily reserved or stored inside the labs. Part number one, Ali. Part number one said pick out from the text the cause or the causes for using Drosophila in labs. Yes. yes. What causes? are the causes or the causes? They said pick out. So pick out is from where? It's from the text. From the text, yeah. Okay, so what are the causes for using Drosophila? Okay, so it requires short time. Short time, it requires a couple of the Drosophila to give birth to hundreds of uh, Drosophila. Okay, oh, and the second, they're small. The small size, size of. Okay, them. great. So this is the first part. Pick out from the text the causes for using Drosophila in labs. Already it's picked out, so it's very easy. Moving to cross one. Cross one here, pay attention. Pay attention, you use it. A pure male Drosophila. They said that they are pure, meaning that they are homo like this. Having a black body. So first we have a black body. Cross. Here I'm marking the notes or the keywords in order to understand the question. So whenever you read the question carefully and you underline the keywords or highlight the keywords, meaning that you can solve 50% of the question. So a pure male Drosophila having blood body was crossed with a pure female having gray body. So we have two different colors. We have black, the first one, and we have the gray, which is the second one. Okay? So these are crossed. This black. Drosophila is like the penny, the penny, the penny. Okay? They are called fruit flies. Okay, so here the pure male Drosophila having black body was crossed with a pure female having a gray body. So we have two characteristics or two different traits, the black body and the gray body. In the first generation, all the obtained F1 offspring, yani kill it descendants, kill it with all the couples, they have black body. So all of them, they have black. So from this you use it. They ask you, what may you did use from this cross? Yes, Yusuf. We crossed a black Drosophila having a male Drosophila having black color with a female having gray color. All the offspring, all the descendants, they have black. Kiluledon, they are black. What can you deduce, Yusuf? I can. Yes, Yusuf, you can unmute yourself. I about to say something in the how in the up sentence. Okay. This is just that to that list of Maritania. What can you deduce from this cross? This is question two here. Okay, you said, do you have an answer? Or we can give the chance for Lynn? Yes, yes, no. Okay, yes, Lynn. Do you have an answer? Thank you, Yusuf. Pay attention to this. Uh, yeah. I may deduce that the black allele is dominant over the gray recessive allele. Excellent. So this is the deduction, but we have to write it in a special type. So you have to say, after crossing a pure male Drosophila having a black body with a pure female Drosophila having gray body, all the F1, they have black. 
So the black allele is dominant over the gray allele, which is recessive. And here we have a, to add a special word. This one is recessive, the gray. So it was masked in the birds. It was masked by the dominant. The dominant can can So you have to say it was masked by the dominant allele. 43, they said is agreed by symbols, each of the corresponding alleles. Always and always and always. Cynthia, dominant should be capital letter or a small letter? Capital letter. Capital letter. So you have to say, let B capital be the symbol of the black dominant allele. And the second one, let G small be the symbol of the gray recessive allele. Part four, perform the essential factor analysis. We will do it. So let's move to the solution of the first one. The causes that uh, the, the short time it requires to give birth to hundreds of the and their small size. These are the pick out, this is part number one. Part two, they ask you to, uh, what can you deduce? We can't say immediately we deduce that. So you have to say after crossing a male black drosophila with a female gray one, all F1, they are black. So the parents are pure, already they mentioned in the text, but mostly we didn't mention that they are pure. So you have to say the parents are pure and the black allele is dominant over the gray. Gray will be recessive. So recessive, always you have to say this keyword, and this is very important. And it was masked in the parents. Yeah, the gray allele, it was masked in the parents. Yeah, it was masked in the parents. Okay, so this is the part two. What can you deduce? Moving to part three. Part three is an eight by symbols. Always and always, even though I didn't say have you have to this an eight by symbols, you have to do this part. So this an eight by symbols that be capital be the symbol of the black dominant allele, and let G small be the symbol of the gray recessive allele. Part four. They need the factorial analysis. Factorial analysis. First of all, let's start step by step. Uh, let's have honey. First step in the factorial analysis, what I have to write? The phenotype. Phenotype. Phenotype of the parents. Okay. The male, it was with the gray or black? The male was black. Black. So the male, it was black. Crossed, you have to put X. Crossed with the female. The female, it was what? Great. Right? Okay. I'm about then, to just start yesterday. Okay. The second one. Yes, let's move to Muhammad Hassan. Phenotype. After the general phenotype, what do you have to write? The geno? Genotype. Genotype, Muhammad. So, genotype. Uh, parents, they are pure. What's the meaning of this? They are homo. Yeah, B, B with J, J. Very good. Excellent. The R, B capital, B capital, yeah, Yusuf, crossed with the gray, which is recessive. It's a G small, G small. And here you have to put the symbol of the female. Then we will move to uh, the gametes. Yes, yeah, Nada, gametes. So this is the gametes, and you have to put the symbol, gamma. So gametes. What is the symbol of the gametes? Big, line, B, big B. It gives how many type of gametes in other? 100% B. 100% B. So B, it's 100%. Let's see male. Okay, 100%. So you, you put it G. in the symbol. And the female, it's 100% G. Very good. This is a G, 100%. Okay. Then we move to the second part. Second part, yeah, Ren, gametes. Phenotype, genotype, gamete. Then we have to put what? Table of? Of word. No, you have to put the table of? Cross, yes. right? So table of, yes. cross. Table of cross, you have to put like this. You draw the table, sure, using a pencil and using a ruler. This is the table of cross. And you have to divide it into male and female. Okay? Male okay. and female. Okay, so male and female. So the male is black, so it has only one type of gamete, which is B, 100%. And the female, it's a gray, it's a G, also it's 100%. So they are going to be BG, 
hundred percent. So the table of result, there is no need to draw the table of result here. So we have hundred percent BG, right? Yes. So hundred percent of the F1. So F1, all of them, they are black. So hundred percent, they are black. This is the first factorial analysis crossing the pure male black with the pure female gray. So they become 100%. Here we have to draw the table of result, but since it's very small, so you, there is no need to draw it. It's okay to write it down like this, but whenever we have more than two boxes, you have to draw the table of result. Yes, any question before we move to the second part or to the fifth part, table of results? Any questions? Yes? Yes, Cynthia, your question it is... Says Ma, mom, next up there for the experimental result, the results are verified. Here, I I didn't, yes, here I didn't ask you to verify the experimental results. If I ask you the question, uh, do perform the essential factorial analysis to verify the experimental results, then at the Nicked end you have sentence. to say, therefore, the experimental oh, okay. results are verified. Yes. Okay? Yes, thank you, okay. Cynthia. Other than, other than Cynthia, questions? Hamad Hassan, Nada, uh, Joel, Tala. Lean questions. Okay, everything is clear. So we can move to the second mm -hmm. part. Okay, great. Yeah, let's move to the second part. Uh, second part in the cross two. Yeah, let's pay attention in cross two. They said two individuals of F1, meaning that two F1 individuals, they are crossed. What does that mean? this mean? This means we have F1 crossed with F1. The following results are obtained or were obtained. So we have 75% they have a black body and 25 percent they have gray body part five they ask you what do we call this cross yes mahdi what do we call this cross crossing f1 with f1 yeah i meant to cross f1 with itself so should not send me either cross self cross excellent so it's called self cross so crossing f1 with f1 so it's called self cross upon crossing f1 with f1 okay then part six cynthia they ask you perform the essential factorial analysis to verify the results so here whenever we finish you have to say therefore the results are verified which results these are the results okay so here first of all f1 who can tell me what is the genotype of f1 by raising your hands what is the genotype of f1 before we start Yes, Tala. It's BG. Very good. The genotype, it's BG. We found it in the part four. So BG is the phenotype of F1. So it's going to be BG crossed with BG. Let's move to the solution. So here, first one, selfie cross, factorial analysis, F1 crossed with F1. Let's start here the factorial analysis. So first of all, to start the factorial analysis, what do you have to write? The phenotype, right? This is the phenotype of the parents so phenotype male or female here it doesn't matter whether the female or male because both of them they have the same genotype both of them they are black so black crossed with the black then moving to the genotype genotype it should be what so the genotype the male is going to be what b capital g small from where did i get this i got it in the fourth four we got the genotype of f1 crossed with another black so it's bg also this is a female moving now to the gametes yes you are gametes you have to write the word gametes and you have to put this symbol gamma Joel, what do you think the male how many type of gametes it will get 50% B and 50% G. Excellent. So 50% B and 50% G. So B, it's 50%. And G, it's 50%. Also for the female, this is the same idea. Also we have B, which is 50%. And we have G, which is 50%. Before we move, any question before we continue? Everything is no. clear now? Everything is clear? Yes. Okay, so let's yeah. continue to the 
part, uh, the third step is gamete. The fourth step, which is the table of cross. So let's move for the table of cross. Table of cross, you have to write the table of cross. Write table of cross. Table of cross. So table of cross, what you have to do is the following. First, you have to draw it. Here we have two for the male and two for the females. You have to make it bigger. I'm sure you have to draw it using a pencil and a ruler, not using your hand and not using a pen. So here we have for the male, and here we can extend it for the second one. Okay, so here you have to divide this box first into male and female. This is the male and this is the female. This is B, 50%, and this is a G, 50%. And the second part, B, which is 50%, and G, which is 50%. So let's start with the first one, okay? I'm going to start step by step with this, with the B. So B with B, it's going to be, give B, B, 50 times 50 over 100, so it will be 25%. And B times G, it's B, G, always we start with the dominant. B, G, it's 25%. From where did we get it? It's 50 times 50 over 100. Then we move to the G now. G times B, it's not GB, it's BG. Start with the dominant, so it's BG, 25%. And the last one, it's a G cross with the G, so it's a GG, small letter, GG, it's 25%. Here we finish the table of cross. Moving to the table of results. Here we have to draw the table of results. Okay, in the first one we didn't because it's very small, so we can write them down, it's okay, but you have to write table of results here. So table of results. So you have to write in the table of results like this. This is the table, and you have to divide it into half and this way. So here you have to write genotype, and here you have to write the phenotype. Okay, so till now we have the follow. Let's start. So first we have BB. BB, do you have other than this B? Yes, uh, Muhammad Hassan. BB, do you have other than this BB? Muhammad is here. Muhammad. So we have BB. Okay, I think so. Muhammad is not here. Yusuf, BB. Yes, sir. We have other than this BB. Uh, no, so it's 25%. What do you think about uh, BG? Yes, yeah, Ali Bustani. BG, do you have more than one BG or only one? Yes, yes. BG, how many BG do we have? BG, um, one. Here is one. I did the first one. Ah. Oh, oh, um, this is the second one. So, no. which one? So we have two. So, two, we have to add their percentage. 25 plus 25 is going to be 50. one. 50%. 50. Okay, great. And the last one is going to be the GG. So, it's a GG. 25%. So, here, La Wahda, BG, GG, and we have BB. So, what do you think? If we have BB or BG, what will be the phenotype? Who can tell me? What will be the phenotype? Um, B. 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 So it will be phenotype B. It's meaning that it's black. So it's a black. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we can add them. Okay. Why? Because it's dominant and it can be expressed in homozygous or heterozygous. So here, both of them, they give black. So 75% they are black. From where did I get the 75%? I added 25 plus 50. So it will be 75%. Why the rest, 25%, it's gray. How can I determine that this is gray? Gray is recessive. And it cannot be expressed unless in the case of homozygous. So 25% gray. Okay? So here we get 75% Cynthia black and 25% gray like the results given. So here I have to write then, therefore, the results are verified. Or experimental results are verified. Okay, therefore, results are verified. 
Any questions about this factorial analysis? Results no. are ready. Okay, everything is clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. So, questions before we move to this third cross? Any question? Okay, great. Great, very good. So, let's move now to the third cross. Pay attention to this cross. In this cross, we have a female drosophila having a black body. What is the genotype of the black? If we have a drosophila having a black body, who can give me the genotype of the black? Uh, yes, ma'am. BB or BB or BG. Excellent. It's BB or BG. Very good. Why? Because the black allele is the dominant. It can be BB or BG, right? As a cross with a gray male drosophila, what do you think? Gray, it should be what? Gray is the recessive. And it should be 100% G small, G small. Since it's recessive and it cannot be expressed unless in the case of homozygous. So here we are crossing a, phen a individual with dominant phenotype, either BB or BG, we don't know, with homozygous recessive. It gives, and the results, 50% gray and 50% black. Part 7. They said, identify the type of this cross. What is the type of this cross? Who can tell me? Identify, sure, we have to justify. So what is the type of this cross? Raising your hands. What is the type of this cross? Yes, Ram? That's the cross. That's the cross, why? Um, because 50% gray, 50% black. No. That's the cross. Because always we cross it with yes, Tal, you have the answer? Yes. yes. Uh, it's a test cross since there's um, two genotypes um, and and, and one. You are moving to the results. You are moving, you are focusing on the results. If you are focusing on the results here. Before you focus, you have to look here. So always, whenever we cross here, it's homozygous and recessive, right? results as than BB or BG. Yes, so it's homozygous recessive. So whenever we cross a dominant an individual with dominant phenotype with homozygous and recessive, homozygous recessive, this is GG. Homozygous and recessive, we cross it, so the test is called the test to cross. So this is a test to cross. Since we crossed an individual with dominant phenotype, who will be black, with homozygous, recessive, who will be gray. So that's why we call it a test cross. I the last part, okay? Part eight, determine the genotype of the black drosophila. The black drosophila. Here we have BB or BG. Sure, nahna, 100% le gray, hatkuni GG, 100%, since it's homozygous recessive. What determines the genotype of the black, which is the dominant, is the result. If we have two different results, if you remember, if we have two different results, meaning that the parents, they are heterozygous. Why? If we have only one result, me, 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 or for example, 100% black, so we have only BB. So here, the gray, who can give me the genotype of the gray in the results? 50% gray, 150%, so I couldn't genotype the gray. GG. Excellent. It should be GG. Okay? If it's GG, it will inherit G from the male and another G from the female. So, as I added G in the male with G in the female, so 100% the parents will be BG. It will be BB. If it will be BB, 100% it will be black. We will give just one type of gametes. So, here we have GG. It will inherit. A G from the male and a G from the female. While the black, it will inherit B from the male, the female, and sure, it will inherit G from the female. So from the male, sorry. So it will be B G. So here you have to pay attention to this. Whenever we have two different phenotypes in the test cross, meaning that the dominant is heterozygous. يعني هون نحن عملنا crossing the B B مستحيل. لو كانت B B can tell 100% kill the black. So keep it in your mind and the test across. Whenever we have two different phenotypes, 
meaning that the dominant individual is heterozygous. Then we already had the dominant he G G. Must be able to be a G G. So here we have a whole a whole discussion. If it's B B or B G, if it's all one hundred percent black, يعني مستحيل عندي بس واحد type one type of gametes هون. So here بس بعطيني B B. يعني هون إيش بيرد يكون B B. بس أنا هون ترى عندي two different phenotypes, grey and black. Well, the grey doesn't come G G. So it inherits. From the male and from the female, so 100% it should be B G. Moving to the solution of this part, part seven. So uh, that's the cross. So it's, it's cross with homozygous and recessive. They manna 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 cross. Ma homozygous recessive. So type of this cross is called a test cross. Part eight. And the results we have 50% under the gray and 50% they have black. So the gray individual, the who is like gray, is very good G from G allele. From each of the parents, يعني هياخد G allele من بيو وG allele من أمه. طب إذا G allele من بيو وG allele من أمه إيش بير dominant اللي هو اللي بلاه يكون عنده BG مستحيل يكون BB. لو كان BB ما بيقدر يعطي. Okay, so it will be BG. So here the black female should be heterozygous or say it can be hybrid having genotype B and G. So this is everything you have to focus about these nodes. You have to study these nodes. For example, in the test cross, maybe I will give you the opposite. I will give you only one phenotype. So it's very black, hakun BB and not BG. Okay. So this is everything to the worksheet for today, and you have to study these nodes very well, and you have to focus on the keywords.